I decided to refilm it because I got good feedback on my makeup in these two photos from my Instagram. So yeah, let's just get started. So I started off with a face just with my foundation and my eyebrows on just because I wanted to focus on the eyes. And the first thing you're going to want to do is prime your eyelids. This is very important, especially when doing a dark eye look, just because you don't want your eyeshadows to crease and it shows more when you have dark shadows. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to take a blending color and I'm taking this bronzer that I use and this is just a matte bronzer by Too Faced and I'm taking a fluffy brush and placing this in the crease as well as the outer corner. This just helps blend out all your shadows nicely. I feel like that's the most important part to smoky eyes, just blending. So this is the darkest color that I'm going to be using for my smoky eye today and it's just a matte black called Crave from the Naked Basics palette and I'm just going to be placing this into the outer corner. Um, you guys can use any color that you want for this part as long as it's the darkest shade that you're using for your smoky eye. So it can be like a dark brown or anything like that. So yeah, you're just going to take this and put it into the outer corner and don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend all this out later. Then to help blend out this black, I'm taking a brown shadow. This one is Sumatra from the Smashbox palette. And I'm just going to be placing this right above the black shadow that I already placed down with the same exact brush. And you're just going to want to blend out all the black just so that there's not a harsh line. So once you feel like you've gotten that brown blended out pretty nicely, you're going to take a lighter brown shadow and I'm taking Faint from the Naked Basics palette and the fluffy brush that I used earlier and I'm just placing that right on top of that brown. The key to a good smoky eye is just blending out all your colors just so that it looks effortless and just beautiful. Um, I got a lot of comments in my other videos saying that it takes too long, but trust me, smoky eyes, they take a while just because you do have to blend it out a lot, so just be patient with this step. Um, make sure you get all the colors blended out very nicely. Then since I didn't feel like there was enough of a gradient effect, I'm taking this color Chestnut from the Smashbox palette, and I'm just placing this right in between the black and the browns just because I just, yeah, I just didn't really, I wasn't satisfied with how it blended out. So I'm just placing that right on top and then just taking the fluffy brush again and then just blending all of that out. And then you can't forget about the inner corners, so I'm just taking a gold shadow and this one is called Ambient from the Smashbox palette and I'm placing this towards the inner corner as well as towards the center of my lid. And then I'm taking a Marc Jacobs eyeliner pen and just tightlining the upper eyelid. This will create an illusion that your lashes are thicker than they actually are. And the next step is just to line your eyes. Um, I'm just taking the Kat Von D liner and I'm just lining the top of my eyes and just winging it out towards the corners. And you are almost done with your eyes, but first you want to conceal your under eye circles and highlight your face. So I'm just taking this concealer from Maybelline and I'm just putting this under my eyes, in my T-zone, as well as on my chin. And then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and then just blend all this out. I actually wasn't going to include this into the tutorial, but I don't know. I really like this part, so I just decided to show you guys. And once you're done concealing and highlighting, you're going to want to set all of this. So you're going to take a HD powder. I'm taking the Makeup Forever one. And I'm just putting this all over my face just to set all the concealer, all the foundation that I have on. So it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm going to take the same eyeliner that I used to tight line and put this on my waterline. I usually tend to not use pencils for my waterline just because I don't feel like they stay but this Marc Jacobs one does a pretty good job. I think in another video I said it doesn't work that well but once you set it like I am right here with a black shadow it stays on pretty much all day and it works just like a gel eyeliner. And then you want to finish off with mascara and I'm using my favorite the Maybelline Falsies. So right after I did my mascara, I just did my bronzer and my blush, and now I'm going to be using this lip product, and this is by Sugar, and 